Okay, in this video I want to do one last example of factoring sums and differences of cubes. And uh, we're going to use one of the two formulas as before. In this example, we've got the quantity 2x plus 3y cubed minus 343. And the first thing I'm going to do is simply rewrite this as 2x plus 3y. So I'll leave the first part alone. But then I want to think what number cubed is 343. And this is probably one that's not on the tip of everybody's tongue. Um, maybe it is. It turns out that 7 cubed is 343. So again, this is one of those sayings It's probably useful to know at least cubes of most numbers. Just periodically you'll see them. Um, so anyway, if not, play around with a calculator or, or cube root 343 and you'll get 7. So what we're going to have to use in this problem, notice uh, we've got something minus something cubed, uh, something cubed minus something cubed. So we're going to have to use the second, or excuse me, the first formula, the x cubed minus y cubed. And again, that says if you have something cubed minus something cubed, it says take the first thing minus the second thing, this, the things that are being cubed, that is, and then uh, take the first thing and square it, multiply them, and square the last one. So let's try to make a little bit of sense out of that. It get a little more confusing here because we have this uh, this uh, this bigger expression in, in, in our first set of parentheses, but I think we can manage it. So, okay, so when we factor this, it says take the very first thing that's being cubed and write it down. So, so we've got two x plus three y, and then it says put a minus. Okay, so there's our first set, so we've got our x minus our y, and then it says take the first thing, the 2x plus 3y in this case, and we square it. And then it says whatever was being raised to the powers, it says multiply those two things together. So now we'll have 2x plus 3y. We would have to multiply that by 7 and then we write another plus sign and it says whatever was being cubed this time we just simply square it so we'll write down 7 squared alright yuck so again a little tedious but um, this is now factored um, we could always you know maybe rewrite it a little bit um, but again there's probably not a lot of uh, simplification to do in this case I, I don't feel like but let's look at it just in case so we could write this as 2x plus 3y minus 7. If you wanted to, you could always multiply all this stuff out. So we would have to do 2x plus 3y times 2x plus 3y. So let me kind of do this part off to the side. So if we had 2x plus 3y times 2x plus 3y, we would have to FOIL this out, distribute it out, so we would get 2x and 2x, which would be 4x squared. We would get 2x and 3y, which would be 6xy. We would take 3y and 2x, again that would give us another 6xy, or 6yx, but we can rewrite it as 6xy. And then 3y and 3y would be 9y squared. So there's the first term, uh, the, the 2x plus 3y squared multiplied out. And I think we could even collect some like terms. We've got 4x squared. Uh, we've got positive 6y, positive 6y, so that would give us a positive 12xy. We've got our plus 9y squared. You could think about the 7 as being you know, in front of the parentheses. So to get rid of the parentheses, we'd have to distribute the 7. So we would get a 14x plus 21y. And then 7 squared would be 49. And now, you know, again, I definitely don't want to multiply this back out. Um, in a sense, that's the point of factoring it anyway. So um, I would probably almost even just leave it in this middle step, but just to show you a little bit extra of the, uh, of the process if you did have to kind of multiply this, this second part out. So I don't see any like terms really now in my, uh, my other in my uh, second set of parentheses, so I'm just going to leave that alone and call it a day.